You, are yeah. you for or against mask mandates? Quickly. No, I would not be for mask mandates at all. Texas is Do you think it's nice a constitutional violation? Do you think it's a constitutional violation or constitutional intrusion to have a mask mandate? Yeah, I believe in the freest country in America. And okay, I'll be quick. What is part of the Constitution does having a mask mandate violate? It violate. You cannot impose a mask mandate on people in the freest country in the world. You can no, no, educate. No, sir. I believe. Here's that, my question, Bobby. Right. Which constitutional amendment or constitutional proclamation makes the mask mandate unconstitutional? You have the whole Constitution embodied in our freedoms. We have no, a sir. freedom to assemble. We have a no, freedom sir, to speak. You do not have out. the freedom you, to assemble in my yard. You see, every freedom has a limitation, absolutely. right? Absolutely. So but my you cannot impose you a mask mandate simply for the politics of a mask mandate. When one, there was but no you, science you call to it back it up. And you two, don't call it unethical. You have to let people have a freedom of choice. Okay. You have to let them Bobby, make can their you own find decisions. a place in the Constitution that you can say this is why wearing a mask by way of mandate is government intrusion and unconstitutional. Where All can right. you find that? Well, you'll, you said you're gonna have me back on the program. You want me to find a clause, <laughs> I'll find a clause. Please but do, do your research. I'm gonna go in and give you a hint. It ain't there, brother, it's not there. Not uh, people every, would utilize, they would look, utilize amendment it just, one. It takes a little bit of, just a little bit of common sense well, to know that in the freest country in the world, reality. you cannot mandate that people can't go out. That they okay. must, as they're exercising their freedoms, yeah. to be forced to wear a mask by a decree of government. You right. can't Are you, do that. Do you wear a seatbelt, Bobby? What's that? Do you wear a seatbelt? Yes, I do. Do you obey the speed limit? Uh, well, I'm a former race car driver, so that <laughs> one's a little bit hard. But you understand my point, and I do find yeah. it interesting that cats like you, you don't look at all of these other government mandates by law as intrusions. You don't even look at the government telling a woman, what she can or cannot do with her body as an intrusion. But all of a sudden you look at wearing a mask as an intrusion on your constitutional right. But you can't even find the place in the constitution where the constitution says the government cannot do that. And brother, as I said, I will have you back on the show, yep. but I want you to do your research on that and come back and holler at me, okay? I'll do it, and I'll, if you want to talk about the woman's right, you just in that quick sentence, you forgot about the other person's right. Every person See, has a right I'm glad to you life. brought that up, and I'm glad you brought that up, and so I will, I will uh, go to break with this, with this to leave you with, Bobby. Where does life begin? At conception. Why do you say that? Because there's nothing that a woman will do, nothing that will grow okay. in her body where she will produce a All rock right, so I, or a dog I gotta break, or a I gotta fire break, hydrant. I gotta she will break. produce I just want a you to remember, human being. Remember the story of Adam, when Adam was created, Adam did not become a living soul until until God breathed into him the breath of life. And that is when Adam became a living being. When there was a respiratory function, Adam became a living soul. Adam was a biological entity and then became a living soul according to scripture once Adam had a respiratory function. I'm gonna leave you with that. You'll come back and debate me again. And it's been a pleasure, man. I appreciate you being with me, okay? Thanks Rashad.